Hello and welcome to another episode of Lord Splodge Screencasts. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how you can configure Scrivener, the excellent writing app from Literature and Latte, to export into a format that creates space. That's Amazon's uh, independent publishing arm can use to convert into a printed book. There is already an excellent guide on how to do this in HTML form. And that's at this URL that's on screen now. As you can see, it's a comprehensive five part uh, document. Now this goes into more detail that I'm going to go here, but I will show you how to set this up. If you don't have a copy of Scrivener and are interested in writing, then I suggest you go and try the free trial. Um, the address is on screen. It's an excellent writing application for anybody that needs to write uh, words you know whether it be a thesis or in my case a novel or you know maybe it's a university work school work whatever um check out my uh, screencast um about scrivener uh, over on my channel the uh, url is on screen now so i've opened scrivener and i've opened uh, the Scrivener document that contains my novel and if we look over the left here in the binder we have the we have three sections front matter draft and back matter now these are important essentially because I want to work in a way that only the main body has page numbers so in this case the front matter consists of the title copyright dedication and a half title and the back matter has acknowledgments and a page about me and in the middle here we have the draft section and this essentially contains all the novel so what we want to do is first of all select the draft I'm going to go to compile or alt command E and what we want in here is at the bottom we want compile for PDF that's because for create space we're going to need to output a PDF it doesn't matter about this one but in the separators page we're going to make sure that the text separator, the folder separator, the folder and text separator, and the text and folder separator are all set to page break. And we haven't selected insert page break before text documents with sub documents. Here on the formatting page, on the website document, it tells you to untick override text and notes formatting now in this case I've got it ticked because I'm adding some stuff such as title to the chapter title that wasn't on uh, the person that did the document online didn't want that on theirs but I have padded the initial page eight lines and here it prefix chapters and you can make a number of words at the start of your document, uppercase, in this case, three. Um, and you can always start this section on either a left or right page. So in this case, I've set my document here to have text in the title. And I've actually overwritten the font here to be um, smaller than the actual main document. Uh, 
these can be set as default we're not really doing any um adjustments here same for layout and transformations pdf settings is the default as well what we need to get down to page settings this is the uh, important part of the document and on header and footer you need no header on first page and page following page breaks and no header and footer on single pages that's to stop the chapter or the book name or the author name whatever you choose to appear on pages that are a start of a chapter or a pages on their own and for header and footer here we have section title and we've got nothing on the first page and on the facing page we have the project title now what we would need to do is because I've removed it for the start section here is add the following now that adds a page number and the reason we add it here is because we're outputting the main body of the document and on that we actually want the page number metadata in this case you can leave it as is it should pull it from the document and what you'll do is you'll comp click compile actually we'll actually set it what we want and you'll notice that on every chapter section we've put a page break before except the last blank page and that's kept as is so no page break and the reason is and the reason for that is down to formatting and I'll show you that later so you click compile and it's going to say where do you want to put it and what's it called and we click export and off it goes so here's the document output now it's in single page view here and to be honest we're dealing with a book so this is not much use so we shall go to two pages and the first page is only a single page because this is the whole chapter and there's the second and third page now if you notice when we was in the thing we added the title and if you look here that's why it's added the title of each chapter that's the first thing and the second page and the third page there's two chapters note carefully that there is no book name page number on the first two pages it's because it's single pages um, so we don't want these pages cluttered up that's why we chose the options not to do that but when we get to a chapter such as the third chapter here which is more than one page long we have page numbers on both page pages we have on the left page we have the title of the book and on the right page we have the current chapter and that repeats so on the left page here no title of the book at the top because this is the start of a chapter page number at the bottom because the chapter is more than one page and on the right page as the chapter continues we have the name of the chapter third page as you can see again name of the book page number but note on the fourth page because it's the start of a chapter there isn't a chapter listed in the header because the chapter is already there we do have a page number though and this repeats all the way through the book one of the other things that I missed initially in the page setting thing is by default at the start your Scrivener will be A4 or letter depending on where you come from now the book in this case is 5 by 8 inches or a 12.7 by 20.32 centimeters so what I've gone and done 
is set in here over and we've created a custom size and that custom size is from the document I've actually set the custom size up on the MacBook Pro so although the documents picked it up I don't actually have the custom size installed here but that's essentially what you do go other manage custom sizes type it in and give it a name in there so there you go and you give it a name like that that makes the PDF match the correct size I've also checked with create space for the amount of margins they need and in this case we've got 0.75 inches top left right and bottom so that's why we get this these page sizes these are accurate to the size of the book and we need to know that because we need to know how many pages are in the book to calculate the width of the spine for the image at the front of the book well the cover essentially that's compiled now so what we need to do is go into the front matter and this is created in such as you've got a number of blank pages we essentially want at the end of the draft here to be at a even numbered page that makes it so we don't have to insert a blank page here what we want is when you open the book from the back you want to see the about the author page and that needs to be on the page facing the back of the book so if it was on it's on the left page but no there's no right page after it so it's a page on its own at the back of the book so that sets this and at the front here so I've spaced it out of it so you've got the dedication so that there is a blank page between you that's for aesthetics more than anything um, it's just essentially a black page a, a blank page so what you do is you shift click and select the whole lot for compile the front matter and we're going to compile and what we want to do under here again is the text separators are all page breaks the contents oh we need to change this so it's include current selection on the contents notice that was set to draft and I've selected too much so we need that and that and then go back to compile and selection and we notice we stick a page break before everything except the title and we put it as is so that the blank pages will actually appear as blank pages and we go down to page settings and this is where you'd remove remember if you wanted page numbers you would have had this in the document well we don't want page numbers on the front section or the back section so we do that click compile give it a name so here we've got the front matter of the book so we've got the title other works by me the copyright dedication blank page half title blank page no page numbers and if we look at it as two pages so we go to the start start page on its own that's a single right page left page right page left page right page left page so that's going to force the first chapter to be on the right page here what we do with the back matter is again select the two documents hit uh, alt command e compile it essentially it's the same thing we want it as is for the first one no page break and as is in the page break for the second one any blank pages should be as it as is as well um, again we don't want the page numbers in here so we click compile give it a, a name back cover and there we have the outputted back cover as the two pages acknowledgements and about the author and that's it no page numbers 
nothing like that. I look at it, it's uh, two pages. See, this will be a right page at the back of the book because we're dealing with an even numbered document. If it was an odd numbered number of pages in your main body, add a blank page at the end. That shoves it over. So that's the right page. So that's the that's the right page. Sorry, that's the left page. That's the last page in the book and the first page that somebody will see when they open the book. So at the end of doing that, you'll have the front matter, the body of the book, and the back matter. And what you want to do is using a program of your choice. In this case, we're going to use website PDF join. We join the three files. So we need to go into the file with it in. And we select the front matter and the body and the back matter and click compile. That will then generate this, which will put it in two pages and just make it bigger. And as you can see, there it is formatted with page numbers. And right at the back, if we go to page 209, see there, last page of the book, blank page, acknowledgements, that's the last page. There you go. That's ready to submit to create space. All you need to do now is make a front cover. And that's where this comes in because from create space, you'll get a template which we worked out from the number of spa uh, number of pages gets a spine width you need a document that fills this but that's outside of the scope of this screencast so that's it in a nutshell how to create a document that you can submit to create space using scrivener if you're a amateur author or enjoy writing and I hope this has come in useful. Thanks for watching.